store. Picked up some things from Publix. May need some produce. I wanted to get some fresh fruit for the week for myself and Mr. Allen. So I picked up some cantaloupe. I got some strawberries. They were buy one, get one free. I got two of those. I grabbed some of these very cherry plums. Can y'all try these? The people say they're delicious. So we're gonna try those out this week. I picked up some red and green grapes. I ended up grabbing some maple honey turkey, boar's head, pick some of that up. I plan on making some um, turkey bacon sandwiches or wraps for lunch for Mr. Allen this week and myself. I ended up grabbing some watermelon. Saved myself some trouble by getting it already cut up. And then Publix had their applesauce on sale. So we both love applesauce. So I got the little cinnamon. I'm sorry, y'all. I picked up some of the cinnamon. I picked up some strawberry. And I think I got one other flavor. Oh, yeah. I ended up picking up the mango. So these were buy one, get one. We both love snacking on applesauce. <laughs> so I ended up getting six of those from Publix. So that is it right now until my Walmart grocery delivery gets here. When that comes, I'll pop it in and show y'all what I picked up from Walmart. Okay, y'all, I told y'all I was going to pop back in and show you my Walmart order once it got delivered. Not a really big order, just small. Parmesan cheese, Colby Jack cheese. I picked up some triple cheddar. I was all out of shredded cheese. I actually freeze this. Um, that way I can keep it fresher longer. Even though the expiration date says December 23rd, I just like to have it on on hand. I got some cream cheese, heavy whipping cream. Picked up some cabbage, hadn't had some cabbage in a while. Probably gonna just saute or fry some cabbage up. I got some mini cucumbers. I picked up some arugula, baby arugula. I'm going to put this in my smoothies add some added greens i have some romaine hearts to either make salad with sandwiches all types of things i picked up some brown sugar because it's time to refill my pantry i got some coconut coconut flakes some uh, granulated sugar i picked up some tomato sauce I grabbed some potato chips, some wavy potato chips. I got a lemon, a lime, a sweet onion. Picked up a tomato because I'll probably be doing a BLT sandwich or a BLT wrap soon this week. I grabbed some red potatoes. Got some more pasta here. And then I grabbed some bow tie pasta. So these are the things I picked up from, or no, we had delivered from Walmart.
to do is go ahead and prep everything and get it packaged that way it'll be easy accessible when you want to grab it for a snack or lunch or whatever the case may be so I'm just bringing y'all along while I get all the fruit cleaned and cut up now the ones that are packaged like this are normally already um, ready to eat and this is already ready to eat. But I'm gonna go in and clean my berries and my grapes and then I'll get these cut up and sectioned and probably put it in individual Ziploc bags so it'll be easy to grab and go. dirty that water is I was reading something the other day that said strawberries are one of the most dirtiest berries so I like to let them sit for about five to ten minutes rinse again until the water is clear and then we're ready to chop them up and what I normally do is just put them back in this container I clean the container and put them back in this container and let them sit on something that can absorb the water. But look what I came across <laughs> when I was cleaning. I got a berry that's not ready yet. You're so cute. I guess they picked this one too soon. <laughs> so I'll just sit that one to the side. But I'm gonna just chop, cut all the strawberries up and put them in this bowl. And then once I'm done, I'll just ration them out. And put them into their individual bags. And I like to do this because it guarantees for me to eat the fruit and use it more because it's already prepped and ready. I don't have to do all this prep every time I get ready to use the berries and so I like to use these just to eat um, to snack on or I make smoothies a lot and I make uh, fruit bowls a lot so this really comes in handy when I just want to grab my fruit and go from. I used to just like sit it in the fridge and let it stay there until I get ready to use it but doing it this way 
really ensures that my fruit don't get wasted and it just makes it easier for when I want to uh, have some fresh fruit available. So hopefully that cantaloupe is sweet. I've been hitting this with cantaloupe these days so I figure I'll try the already cut up cantaloupe to see if it's going to be sweet. And you guys notice I do the pieces in different sizes so some of them I leave whole and some of them I just cut in half like that. Because again I'll probably be making some fruit like some fruit bags that way we can grab them and go easily but yeah y'all this is pretty much what I'm doing this morning I didn't have any big plans I really just wanted to get some things done around the house I just finished cleaning our floors and um if it's loud in the background, we have some construction workers outside working on our gas line. So, it's a lot of commotion going on outside this morning. And then the yard man uh, is doing our yard today. So, if you hear all that noise, that's what it is, you hear. But um, I gotta do a few things around the house. Work on some laundry, which I'm not looking forward to. I can wash clothes all day, but I don't like folding them. Are y'all like that? <laughs> I love to wash, but I do not like to fold. So. I'm gonna fold some laundry up when I finish doing this before I head out for the day. I have to go to the post office to drop off some HDE Central packages and then pick up a few items for work and then after that, I'll be back in. So I'm gonna let y'all go while I sit here and chop up my berries. I'll pop back in. If I need to, if I think of something else, I forgot to tell y'all, okay? are my bags that I have these um quart freezer bags I'm not freezing this but I'm just gonna put the fruit in these bags that way we can grab and go easily I plan on being done with this fruit in a couple days so that's why I'm not concerned about uh, storing it in a container and I know because we're on the go and we'll be fixing lunch and grabbing for work, it'll just be easier to put it in these bags. So that's what I'm about to do.
y'all this water bill is so sweet oh my goodness that's why I like getting this watermelon because it'd be so sweet. I'm gonna have to give Max some uh, watermelon treats too. Oh my goodness, it's so sweet. I should have bought a couple of those. Make sure you want some watermelon. You want some watermelon? Mm -hmm. Watermelon treat. I'm about to make me another smoothie bowl. And I figured I'll pick y'all up since I'll be making it a little bit different. I got my Nutribullet here. Since I'll be making it a little different today, I'm using my old faithful, my triple berry. I actually need to restock on that. I just came from Publix and I forgot to get some I'm using strawberries got these from Aldi and then I got some pineapple chunks so I've already put some berries and some strawberries and then my triple berry mix in there and then I'm gonna add a few pineapple chunks And I forgot to get my almond milk out. I use almond milk, sometimes yogurt, and then I use honey. So, and today I'm going to be using some, adding some arugula. Some organic arugula. I'm gonna be adding that in there. You can look up the benefits of arugula. It has a ton of benefits. Bone health, weight loss, nutrients, all of the things I need in my life. Good for blood flow, preventing blood clots, a whole lot of stuff. So, I'm trying to find more ways to incorporate um, greens and healthy vitamins and stuff without having to take necessarily medicine. So that's why I'll be adding arugula today to my smoothie. Then I'm gonna go in with my almond milk. Oh, I'm gonna add a little honey. Almost forgot about the honey. This is my honey jar. I actually got this jar from Amazon. It's in my Amazon store front. And this is just a natural sweetener because those berries are bitter. So. I'm gonna put my top on and we're gonna blend it up. So that is what it looks like. It seems like it's gonna be a little looser 
than what I normally have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to taste it and see what it tastes like. And if it's to my liking, can't really see it, but it's like that wine color. So, because of the added arugula, I'm wondering, do I want to make a fruit bowl or do I want to just drink it? Hmm, let me figure this out. I'll be back. So, because of the little tang, the arugula added to it, I prefer not to put this in a bowl because when I make a bowl, I'm going, I want to savor it. I want to, you know, take my time. But this, I don't think I want to take my time with it. I want to go ahead and get it done. So, I'm not going to make a fruit bowl with this. This is my first time adding arugula. The only other uh, green leafy vegetables I've added to my smoothie are spinach or kale. So this has a different taste that I gotta adjust to, which I'm cool with adjusting because everything that's good for you may not taste the best, but I know the benefits it has for me. So I'm still excited to get it in my body. So I'm going to just drink this like a regular smoothie today and not do a smoothie bowl now it's not horrible it just has a peculiar you know flavor to it so I added the honey in here so it has a little sweetness to it, it makes it better but this is definitely something you'll have to adjust to if you're not familiar with eating arugula so cheers to our morning smoothie. Hey y'all, just popping in. Finally about to get my flower arrangement together. I've had my flowers sitting in the sink overnight in a glass of water. So, let me stop being lazy and put these arrangements in this vase, okay? <laughs> so I said, let me pick y'all up. While I do it, I picked up some hydrangeas and some baby's breath and some eucalyptus, but I'm not going to use the eucalyptus. The eucalyptus in my arrangement, I'm just going to use the purple hydrangeas. One of my favorite flowers. And the baby's breath. I was just keeping it simple. Just adding a little freshness to the counter. But I got this eucalyptus. I actually got this for my shower head. Um, I've seen other people do it, but my goddaughter told me that it's a game changer for my shower if I put the Tyler's eucalyptus on my shower head and just let the aroma from the eucalyptus steam while I'm in the shower. Mm-hmm. So that's why I got these, okay? So while I was in the store, I actually mashed them together because you activate the, the fragrance by kind of rolling them or mashing them and it smells so good. It's, it's I love eucalyptus. So. Otherwise, we're just gonna arrange these beautiful purple hydrangeas and baby stuff. So, I'm just bringing y'all along for the ride.
be missing you, love. In the good times that we had, I'll be missing you, love. I'll be missing you and your love, your love, your love. When I think of you and the two of us together, it felt so good for so long. decided to pop in I am on the porch me and Max out here just got home from a day of running some errands getting some things done for the week and decided to sit out here on the porch and smell the roses take in the little breeze that's out here thank God for the fans <laughs> But, um, just chilling on the porch. I've probably been out here for about 30 minutes now. Walk Max, let him handle his business. We took a little walk around uh, the yard and down the street. Not far. Like a little short walk to let him and me stretch my legs. So I decided to just chill out on the porch and get some of this fresh air before I uh, went in and start getting dinner ready, which we're having leftovers. <laughs> I made some um, vegetable fried rice and I have some shrimp that I, I put on the side. I didn't add in there just in case I didn't want any meat. So that's what we'll be having for dinner. But um, just out here chilling, thinking, reflecting, enjoying the yard, taking a moment to take me in the porch. Out here thinking about some things that I want to do out here. I actually need to swap out my pillows for my summer pillows I have not did that I don't think I did it last year either I didn't swap out my um my summer pillows so I need to do that I'll either do it tonight in a few minutes or I'll do it tomorrow in the morning <clears throat> but yeah y'all have y'all had a good day today today was my off day for them coat so I did a few things that I wanted to do, a few things for me. I always like to do that on my off day. Um, one thing I didn't get a chance to do is go get my massage, so I may do that tomorrow. Y'all hear those birds out here singing, chirping? We have a ton of birds in our um, yard. Like. I'm scared if I get a bird feeder, it'll be over. We will definitely have a bird forest. So, I thought about getting a bird feeder, but 
Uh -uh. We have enough birds on our porch and that fly and build nests around here. So I'm like, mm -mm. I'm not going to do it. But yeah, I didn't know I'm having an agenda. I wanted to talk about anything particular. Just decided to pop in and check in with y'all since I was out here um, smelling the roses. And just thinking, and I thought about when, when I was just out here, like, reflecting. I'm like, man, I don't do this as often as I need to, or I would like to. So, I don't know, maybe you are the same way. You're always just going, going on the go, and trying to get things done, and working on your plans, and working on your visions, and, you know... Working on your weekly goals, going day after day um, on a mission, and you don't take the time to stop and smell the roses. So, that's my message to you. You should do the same thing. I had to do that today. Stop and smell the roses. It ain't even no roses out here, but you know what I mean when I say stop and smell the roses. Take your time. Slow down a little bit enjoy the moment that you're in i think i've said that before it's like you're often time what's next what's next what's next what's next how about what's now yeah i have to tell myself that what is now enjoy today okay before you think about tomorrow so, sometimes it's easier said than done when you have so much on your plate and so much in front of you. You have so much at risk. So many people depending on you. Uh, you have so much to lose. So, it's, it's really easy to just... Go, 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 go. Be in go mode. Be in hustle mode. Me and Mr. Allen was talking about that the other day. Um, because being an entrepreneur, it it gives you, it puts that fire under you that you have to work 10 times harder than the next person. And so we talk about that quite often because we have to give ourselves like a check-in pull out pull each other's coattail because it's like okay now you know i know we got vision i know we have goals i know we have plans and dreams but do not neglect your current status your current blessings your current um situation so i've never wanted to be that person where life just passed me by and I'll be like well dang well, what happened last year what did we do yesterday or last month or um, do we have any memories to show for it so I've worked on creating more memories taking more snapshots of different um, situations and taking more um, videos and footage of just your regular day-to-day -day life because you'll look around and it's six months down the line and you're like well dang where did the time go it flew by it flew by so stop and smell the roses y'all stop and smell the roses and i'm talking to myself i am talking to myself before i talk to anybody else i'm talking to Dorcas. So every day is a new um a new day, a new page, a new time to to um have a fresh start. And so showing yourself grace, giving yourself grace is um a daily thing. It is a daily thing, and so don't beat yourself up. Don't feel like you don't deserve to stop and smell the roses. You don't have time to do it. You do. 
as soon as you go back to whatever you 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 stepped away from it'll still be there you'll still have time to do what you need to do and I often do that too with people because I am a true people's person I'm a true what they call an empath like I take like whatever somebody's going through or feeling I take it on and that can be a blessing and sometimes feel like a curse but um, especially being in the field that I'm in like people sit in my chair every day and just dump their good they're bad they're ugly on me and me being the type of person I am I'm like I have to really stay prayed up I have to really stay guarded protected and learn how to not take those things out of the chair because I feel for people I love people and so oftentimes I have to check out like I have to check out because I have so many loved ones friends family where you know they rely on me or they put a lot of trust in me and um, that can be a burden on some people but I've learned how to I guess weigh it out and carry it so what I do for things like that is sometimes I just straight check out. Like I take time where I'm not taking on somebody anybody's concerns. I'm not talking to anybody. I'm just spending time with myself, thinking about myself. I have to have those days where I'm being um, selfish because if I don't, I'll feel like I'm just putting out, putting out, putting out. And I'm not recharging myself. So it's almost like, okay, give yourself time to recharge and reveal before you can take on anything else. So I'm sure somebody else is like that also. And so just know that it's okay to be selfish. It's okay to not answer your phone. It's okay to not respond back. If your loved one, your family, your friend truly loves you they'll understand like you have to take that time and so that's a part of self-care self-care is important mental health is important okay so in order for you to um pour out and give out to others you cannot pour from a empty cup so fill yourself up do what you need to do to fill yourself up me i have um days where I'm selfish where I just cater to me and I work on me and I get in my word I pray I talk to God um I just do what I need to do for my sanity for my mental physical spiritual emotional health so if that's you you may need to do the same okay um Again, like I said, I didn't have a specific thing to come on here and talk to y'all about, but I just, I guess, needed to say that little piece. And maybe it helps somebody. Maybe you can take something from it to help you be a better you. Because that's all I'm about. I want to be a better me. I want to be better than I was yesterday. I want to be better than I was last year. Um, I don't want to compete with anybody else. I want to compete with myself so I can be better. So, I'm going to leave here with that. Me and my baby Max going to go in and um, get ourselves cleaned up and wind down and relax for the day. And, uh, what on Mr. Allen to come in from work. And, uh, yeah. As always, we love you and we'll see you later.